animals that were more deadly than dinosaurs. That life would have been considerably scarier if the dinosaurs had persisted is by no means a stretch. But once upon a time, far more extensive and vicious creatures called Earth home. Welcome back to Earth Insider, where we uncover the mysteries of our world through science. Stay in the know by subscribing and joining our Earth Insider community. In today's video, we're going to talk about animals that were scarier than humans. Let's examine other ancient creatures that were much more terrifying than dinosaurs, including enormous serpents, monsters from the deep water, and bizarre creatures straight out of your nightmares. But before we proceed, if you're new to this channel, remember to go ahead and hit the bell icon to subscribe so you won't miss the informative videos that we will upload in the future. Animals that were more deadly than dinosaurs. Dunkelosteus. Dunkelosteus is undoubtedly among the most horrifying creatures that have ever existed, as were some other aquatic species. Often called the Age of Fish, the ferocious fish lived during the late Devonian period, which occurred between 370 and 360 million years ago. That was long before the Mesozoic era began, which scientists have divided into the Triassic, Jurassic, and Cretaceous periods. This period spans from around 245 to 66 million years ago and is known as the Dinosaur Era. With its armor-plated skull and sleek, shark-like appearance, the 26 to 32-foot-long Dunkelosteus had a visage that only a mother could adore. You may be shocked to hear that, despite its vicious appearance, Dunkelosteus was missing two long, bony blades capable of breaking through nearly anything. Moreover, Dunkelosteus was by no means a picky eater. It consumed sharks, fish, and even other creatures. Helicoprion If you thought it was scary to go into the water with a Dunkelosteus, wait till you see what the Helicoprion is like. This fish, 20 to 25 feet long and 270 million years old, is the subject of one of the most perplexing fossil mysteries that ever baffled paleontologists. The odd, petrified whirls of elongated teeth that resembled terrifying, fossilized fruit roll-ups were the first clue that started it all. The term helicoprion was first used in 1899 by Russian geologist Alexander Petrovich Kaprinsky, who discovered that the peculiar fossils were a piece of a fish resembling a shark. His best estimate was that the strange feeding device was permanently rolled up like a party horn and fastened to the nose of a dead long monster. However, paleontologists were baffled by the remains for more than a century. Many strange images of sharks with whirls of teeth hanging off their snouts, dangling from their lower jaws, dorsal fins, caudal fins, and even implanted deep in their throats emerged from years of conjecture on the proper arrangement of the toothy whirl. So how did Helicoprion capture and eat its meal? Horrifyingly, paleontologists proposed that the toothy whirl moved the teeth backward like a saw. And if all that wasn't terrifying enough, the largest specimen of a helicoprion ever discovered had a mouth two feet wide. Fearful Birds All the information you need to understand about the terrifying forest racidae should be provided because scientists dubbed them terror birds. The terror bird family emerged as South America's top land predator after a meteor destroyed ferocious dinosaurs like the Velociraptor and Tyrannosaurus rex. They held this position for the next 60 million years. With just one lethal stroke, the ancient feathered monsters, which could reach a height of 10 feet, could sever a horse's spinal cord with their hooked beak and T-Rex-like hooves. Their terrible reign started when South America was still an island, long before what is now known as Central America existed. The Parafisornis Most mammals in South America were content herbivores, while top predators like wolves and saber-toothed cats replaced them in other regions. That meant there was no competition for the terror birds and a variable feast of plant-eating animals. These fast-moving animals had a beak resembling a pickaxe, which they swapped downward, breaking small animals' skulls to pieces. Not only that, but their massive clawed feet would have probably been used to kick the living daylights out of their victims, and their bony skulls may have served as gigantic meat tenderizers. The terror bird family had 17 species during its 60 million year reign, but it completely vanished about 2.5 million years ago. Andrew Sarkis 
Though it's challenging to imagine something with the name Andrew is scarier than a dinosaur, the vicious creature proves otherwise. A portion of a skull from one of those bad boys was recovered in Mongolia in 1923. And while no whole Andrew Sarkis skeleton has ever been found, it reached about three feet. The animal's enormous teeth led expedition leader Roy Chapman Andrews to conclude that it must have been a carnivore. He named it Andrew Sarkis mongoliensis in honor of himself. The only specimen of the dreadful species that has ever been discovered is in East Asia between 45 and 36 million years ago during the Eocene era. Based on information from its skull and its relationship to another bear-like prehistoric creature known as a mesonyx, paleontologists made an impression of the remains of the animal's body. The end effect is a vision of pure nightmare fuel, 16 feet long and 6 feet high. Titanoboa Titanoboa, the most giant snake in history, existed 60 million years ago during the Paleocene epoch in the marshy seas of Colombia. At around 50 feet long and 2,500 pounds heavy, the enormous reptile was 10 times heavier than the green anaconda that currently inhabits the same seas. Unfortunately, Titanoboa never faced up against the T-Rex head-to-head. -head. Only a few million years after the extinction of the dinosaurs, Titanoboa ruled over a vast, marshy rainforest where temperatures were higher, more humid, and more massive than they are now. The Jackalopterus three words, sea, scorpion, and giant. You probably never imagined reading those two words combined in a phrase about an actual animal. You'll be happy to hear that the majority of the now extinct urids or sea scorpions were tiny, roughly the size of a human hand. They belong to the anthropod order. That excludes the terrifying Jackalopterus, which existed in the Silurian era some 460 million years ago. The prickly sea scorpion is the largest known anthropod, with a maximum length of 8 feet. Ancient Sea Scorpion Its paddle-shaped, segmented body resembled the strange horseshoe crabs, except much more significant. Jackalopterus's oar-like rear legs helped it move underwater to swim quickly after its meal. The marine monster has enormous, spring-loaded claws that it uses to pick up fish as they pass by in addition to its many specialized limbs. Delusions Even while it's common for paleontologists to struggle to identify an animal, particularly one that's been extinct for 400 million years, the case of the hallucinogenic was far more difficult than most. Scientists had to conduct more than 50 years of research to pinpoint the location of the thumb-sized worm's head. Simon Conway Morris, a British nationalist, discovered an odd fossil in 1977. It had been discovered 66 years earlier in the Burgess Shale of the Canadian Rockies and measured 0.5 inches in length. Conway Morris disagreed with classifying annelid worms, including earthworms and leeches. He thought the bizarre creature had many pairs of stilt-like spines that allowed it to walk and many tentacles that protruded from its back. The beast was so absurd that it resembled something you could see in a hallucination after a bad trip, which he named hallucinogenic. Mosasaurus The Mosasaurus may be well known if you've enjoyed the Jurassic World movies. However, the Mosasaurus isn't classified as a dinosaur. Even if those magnificent aquatic reptiles are closely linked to monitor lizards and snakes, that doesn't make them any less grotesque. Between 80 and 66 million years ago, the massive, warm-blooded carnivore roamed the oceans around the world. Paleontologists think that the Mosasaurus, despite the lack of full fossils, may have reached 45 to 50 feet in length and weighed about 5.5 tons, larger than an average city bus and heavier than two mature rhinoceroses. You may have noticed that the gigantic mouth of the caged Mosasaurus from the Jurassic Park World movies has two extra rows of deadly fangs. That may seem like a typical cause of a filmmaker distorting the facts for dramatic effect, but that isn't the case. Kraken During the Geological Society of America annual meeting, McMenamin first introduced the concept in 2011 in Minneapolis. His theory was promoted by the surprising finding in Nevada of nine fossilized ichthyosaur vertebrae that were arranged in linear patterns that, in his words, resemble that pattern of the sucker discs on cephalic tentacles. 
According to McMenamin, a real kraken murdered those aquatic reptiles and hauled their bodies back to its home for a feast, arranging the bones in almost geometric shapes. McMenamin also mentioned that octopuses have been observed to gather rocks, shells, and bones in their burrows and that contemporary cephalopods are sentient animals. This concludes today's video. The listed creatures in this video were the most giant predators of their period. They were ruthless hunters, able to take down the most capable prey due to their strength, speed, and agility. These creatures played a vital part in shaping the world's ecosystems. Don't forget to like the video and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos from our channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you all soon.